I wonder why Vitalia would come to a building like this. Well, that's why we're here, to find out why. Go through those rooms and I'll go through these rooms. We'll cover more ground separated. But wouldn't it be better if we stay together? I don't know what to look for. Just look for anything that could have made this Vitalia girl come in a building like this. But... Why do I have to work with a detective like her? She's so mean. This seems like a normal government building. Was she looking for something? What are the documents about the particle accelerator doing here? Saber, get in here. We have some security cameras. I'm coming! Let's see if our killer was dumb enough to be caught on camera this time. Hopefully. Knowing Vitalia, she definitely let herself get caught on camera. Stop daydreaming. Pay attention. If you want to be a good investigator, you have to pay attention to everything. Plus, having two sets of eyes are better than one set. But I'm working to become a forensic specialist, not a crime scene investigator. And Rinley is also working with me, and she agreed to share you with me, since I don't have a partner. So you're going to learn crime scene investigation as well. Now I know why she doesn't have a partner. She's very bossy, rude, and aggressive. Palmer didn't even want to be with her in a relationship. I just got a text from the chief. Our little prisoner is waiting for us. So after a little bit of research and investigating the area, we'll head back to talk to him. I get to see Johnny again. Should I be worried about you two? I know he attacked you and your friends, correct? N no I'll be fine. I'll be fine once I punch him a few times. Here we go. The footage from outside. Wait, who's the guy? So, Vitalia was following that guy to this place. Why is Vitalia following Lucas? Better question is what is Lucas doing with Vitalia? He's a jeweler thief that got away, so maybe he killed the guard. I don't think he's the type of guy who would kill a security guard. Vitalia is. Let's keep on watching and see what happens next. I'll go to a different camera, the one that's in the hallways. I wonder what the family of the security guard is thinking. I got this guy. Vitalia, don't! After whatever these two want me to help them with, I'm definitely taking off. I feel like these guys are going to get me in trouble, especially the challenge rent. I definitely need to stay away from that girl if her boyfriend's working with the police. Lucas, go get me cookies. Go away, kid. I'm not going to get anything. But I want cookies. I want to take your mouth shut. What did you just say? Just go away before you really irritate me. Ugh, fine. All I wanted was some cookies. Annoying brat. So Vitalia did kill the guard. The jewelry thief seemed to have played a part in breaking in the building, but he didn't kill the guard. But he's still involved with Vitalia! He was hanging around the crime scene too. I guess this answers a few questions on the murderer, but now I want to know everything about this girl Vitalia. Maybe our prisoner can give us some insight. Great. They told me he can shapeshift or something. I don't know. Sounds interesting though. A city full of superpowered villains. <laughs> interesting? More like terrifying. Are we scared, Saber? No, I am not scared. Let's get going. Though I am worried about how this will all end, Colleen has no idea what she's gotten herself into.
The building is still going to need some renovations, but it has a nice area you can set up a lab in. I don't know how I feel about this. It seems a bit pricey, and I'm only a science professor. A lot of my money went to the property damages the particle accelerator made. Don't worry, I'll help fund your operations. You've helped me so many times in the past, this is the least I can do for you. What are you after, Spencer? I'm not after anything? Though, I could say I'm more interested in your student there, Mr. Saber Allen. What do you mean? He seems like a smart kid. Though, he seems a bit edgy sometimes, like he's worried something or someone is after him. He's also really fast, too. What are you implying, Palmer? I know he's the Flash, Professor Watts. You probably should start encrypting the security cameras so no outside source can hack into them, like my lovely friend, Miss Felicity Smoke did. Palmer, I swear, if you- I have no intention of giving out this secret. If I did that, who would protect this city? To be honest, you need to start getting that boy to train a bit. He doesn't seem to know any self-defense, he relies on his speed, and even you would know speed can be overpowering. What if he ran on some ice? That would hurt. You're right, but my lab right now is too small and not safe enough for me to run tests on that boy. I don't even know how permanent his powers are. One day they could just disappear. See, this is why moving you into this nice space here across town would be better for you. Did you change Flash's color? No, I didn't. Then who is this guy? I don't know. How did he even get up here? Um... Hey! You in the banana-looking costume. How did you get up- Hello, Harrison. It's been a while. Who are you? So how is the girl you left work to help? Um... She must be that important to ditch work for. She's mad at me. You must have done something stupid. I want to save her! She was being followed! How is that stupid? I'm not calling that stupid, but did something happen to make her mad? Some guy saved her. Sort of got mad because I knew the guy. He's not a good guy. Better not tell her it's Lucas. Oh, so you got mad at someone for helping her out. Yeah. Now I can see why. I understand you men have your issues with hanging out with each other's girls or hate it when someone steals your thunder, but I would have been so embarrassed if my boyfriend started getting mad at the guy who saved me. I wonder how I can get her to not be mad at me anymore. You will have to figure out that on your own. We are here. Here we go. Hello. Johnny, is it? I'm Detective Colleen, and this is my, um, partner, Saber Allen. Oh, it's you. Don't think I'm happy to see you too, pal. Can this be done and over with yet? Anyway, Johnny, we wanted to ask you some questions about a girl you used to work with. Vitalia is her name. What would you like to know, and what do I get in return for telling you? A nice, cozy prison cell. How about you stay quiet, or I'll tie that green football jacket around your- Boys, let's not fight. Will you stop? Whatever. Anyway, maybe I'll cut a deal with you. I'll ask the DA about lessening your sentence. Oh? Well, you better go get them, because I'm not saying a word without that being guaranteed. Very well. If you excuse me, I'll call him and have him come over. Don't kill each other, please. You're leaving me? With him? Relax. I'll be right back. I have to make this call. He won't talk without our deal. Also, Johnny, I'll have our legal representative coming for you. That's more like it. Uh... 
so how's Ash doing? Is he seriously asking me about Ash? Hey, Airhead, you listening? Yeah, I'm listening, and Ash is doing fine now that you're in prison. Did I strike a nerve? <laughs> I don't understand why Ash is with some weak kid like you. Ash and I are friends, and I'm stronger than you think. And faster than you, too. Oh? I'd love to see you face me in a fist fight. You're not even worth the time. Aw, oh, you're afraid. No, I win? Why, you little- I guess this will have to wait until tomorrow or later in the week. The DA is really busy with the back-to-back -back meetings and hearings, so we can't interrogate you just yet. I would love it if you would tell me a little info about Battaglia, though. All I will say is that they're backstabbers and left me to get caught. Get me a deal, and I'll get you everything. If Italia finds out about him telling the police everything, she could take him out. Okay, I'll find a way to make a deal with you. Let's go, Saber. Renly's probably got something for us. Tell Ash I said I miss her, and I'll see her again real soon. Is that a threat? You threaten to hurt Ash again, and I'll make your life a nightmare. Okay, Saber, let's go see Renly. Can you two escort Johnny to one of the cells downstairs? You need to calm down. He nearly killed my old roommate and my girl- Um, friend Ash. I don't think it's right to give him a get out of jail free card. Saber, I understand where you're coming from, but you need to stay composed in the interrogation room. If the chief sees that you have a personal connection, he will kick you off. The case, which me and Rinley will need. Speaking of Rinley, we need to get walking up to her office. Call- I'll be right back, Colleen. Palmer, are you okay? He should be fine. That was a little love tap. Who are you? What do you want? You don't remember me? Julian Clutch. Is that you? 